Well, hey everybody, welcome. Uh, I was gonna say welcome to Hat Hole Home Video, but that's not really the case anymore, is it? Maybe you've noticed, but I did change the channel name, now it's just me. Um, mostly that has to do with, I guess I'm starting to feel like the idea of branding on YouTube when I consider YouTube something I'm doing for fun, something I'm doing to reach out, something I'm trying to do to be, to connect to the world outside of me, uh, you know, putting the, I don't know, putting a brand in between us, I guess. Sorry, I got my coffee. You may have noticed a little change to the uh, the setup here too, and that's again. I've really had a little bit of time to step back, think, um, you know, not focus on content, I guess, um, and really focus on like the the purpose of all of this and. Also, wanting to be better at being myself, being authentic to who I am. Um, I've, I've tried a lot of different things on YouTube, um, scripted and unscripted, and trying to portray myself as um, sort of a wacky character or, you know, bigger a bigger personality than maybe I have in real life. Um, I think chasing that, chasing authenticity is, is hard for me. Um, I think it's hard for a lot of people. I think being, whoa, just being yourself in front of a camera is a talent. I was going to say a skill, and I guess it is a skill too, but I think there is a natural talent. Like, I, I know so many incredibly fun, funny people, and the second you put a camera on them, they don't know what to do. They become completely lost, completely, uh, they become a different person, and that hilarious person disappears, and I, oh, I would love that, uh, mushroom. Um, I've sort of realized that, you know, I, I definitely have a Come on, Mushroom. Where'd you go? I definitely have a version of that. I... I don't... I don't really totally know how to just be myself in front of a camera and not be... Oh my god. And not be performing in some way. Oh, oh ho ho. Um, and I've been thinking about that. And I've realized that... I love to talk about movies and, you know, I love to talk about stuff with you know, with friends, you know, video games and movies and TV shows and, you know, what's going on in the entertainment world. I find all that stuff really fun to talk about. And that's, like, what I want this channel to be and what I've tried to make it um, here and there in between trying to do skits and characters and all that other wacky stuff. Um... I, but when I sit down here, it's, it's very different. It's, um, it's not as easy to sort of sit down with a camera and focus right here and, uh, have that sort of one-sided conversation. Um, it's a very strange circumstance to put yourself in and then expect yourself to just be natural um, I've been doing this I've been doing YouTube for a long time and I still cannot just sit down with a camera and be myself so I was thinking about it and I was thinking well how do I sit and have these conversations 
when I'm having them with friends, uh, I'm not, you know, we don't sit down in like a closed, quiet environment and just stare each other in the eyes and talk about movies. That's not how it is. We play games, like we're playing video games, we're watching something, and we're talking about stuff. So I thought maybe that's what my uh, undiagnosed brain needs to recreate that kind of an environment to just be natural and be myself. So I have tried to set up an environment that is um, as close to how I would be hanging out with a person and having these conversations as possible. So I got music, I got video games, like I'm splitting my attention three different ways and that's kind of how I operate. Um, so it's going to be an interesting experiment. I. Come on, ah, oh. um, guess it, oops, there we go, um, it, it's gonna be, I think, fun, An another piece of this is, um, you can't edit, you can't, when you're sitting with someone just shooting from your hip, shooting off your, your, your old hip, your old arthritic hips, you can't edit out the struggle and edit out the silence and edit, edit out the parts that didn't work. Um, so that's going to be a piece of my process too, is I want to learn how to better focus and better, uh, you know, be more thoughtful and maybe self-edit in the moment versus you know, thinking, well, I can just chop this up and turn it into something down the road. Uh, that's what I want. And I think those sorts of things, you know, having a more... Not it is what it is, but having a more um, unedited approach is going to, I think, speed up the time it takes to put a video out and also I think having this visual is I, I think also gonna help because I have become increasingly concerned with um, YouTube not liking um, using footage from movies and things like that so it's made it hard when I when I want you know obviously I want to talk about movies I want to review movies and um, it feels like I have felt recently like I shouldn't be using clips from the movies. Um, and that, for me, that that's a big downer because I, if I'm watching someone's video about a movie, I would like to see uh, bits of the movie or see what they're talking about. It's not required, but it, it is nice and it does help. And it adds context to what you're talking about. So I think, we'll see, this might help split the difference a little bit because I can, I mean one, depending on what I'm talking about, I can just be playing games and you can see what I'm playing. But also, um, if I'm reviewing a movie, I can probably just have the movie playing back here and it's of such a low, strange quality and obviously with no audio. Um, oh, I was not even paying attention. That I feel like that would be safe to do. Um, so you can be getting a little taste, a little flavor of what I'm talking about without, without it being something that's maybe more prone to being flagged um, by YouTube. And I think that would... That'll make me feel better. And also, too, no editing, which I like. It's just, boom, it's there. It's just happening. I think this is a fun idea. I'm not going to lie. And two, or I guess, have I said and two? And three, 
A setup like this, I think, makes some other things possible. Um, now, and I do, I want to shift a little bit of this. I want to get in a little better place. I can tell I'm, I'm kind of dark compared to the background. Um, so it's going to have to, I'm going to have to have some futz time with it. But um, I think this makes something like doing live streams again, a little more doable, uh, and again in a way where it reduces the hassle for me and the setup and um, anything I can do to reduce the hassle, the better, because I'm, I'm a person who can get very excited about something and just completely lose that excitement in a moment or two of um, distraction or a moment or two of letdown, I can just say, ah, you know what, forget it, like, we'll do something else or what, you know. It's very easy for me to to sort of lose, lose momentum. Um, so having a setup that maybe can be for everything that I'm doing, all these videos, whatever video I'm doing, works in this setup. Live streams work in this setup. Um, there's the potential, I think, for podcasting of some sort. I could use the same setup. Um, yeah, I think I see good things. Again, I see I see lots of futzing ahead, but um, just putting that focus. And I and I'll say this: like I'm I I want to put this focus on basically practicing being genuine, which sounds like a terrible thing, but is is very true for me. Um, I really want to make that a muscle that I'm working out a lot but I don't want to lose like obviously I love I love when I have ideas for skits I love playing stupid characters and doing stupid voices that's a big that's a big part of you know what I have how I have my own fun so those things don't disappear they they happen when the creative juices strike. I think uh, times on the channel where I've tried to just... Uh, um, times where I have tried to, like, make skits on a schedule has been disastrous, because I have ideas for things, and... Uh, I get all excited about it, but then the next idea doesn't just come. You know, I'll make something, or I'll have an idea, or like I'll have a vague idea of, like, well, I, I have this concept, but I haven't really turned it into a, a formed script, structured script yet, and then it, you know, and then I feel like, then that's consumes me, because I'm like, well, I need to make this thing happen. Um, yeah, it's... I need to just allow those things to happen when they happen, and not um, fight myself to, like, manifest them as much. I, I need to just kind of, with some, with some of these things, just let, let them percolate let them sort of find what they're going to be a little bit and not, you know, again, it's treating, I don't know, treating it like a job or like a chore or responsibility, I think, over and over again, uh, sort of deflates the fun, deflates the momentum. So... I want to create like a, a home base, which is this. This is home base. Most of 
most of what I do is going to be here at home base. But then, when I have ideas for skits, when I have ideas for characters or fake commercials, that kind of stuff, um, I'm still going to do that stuff. I'm still going to make those things happen every once in a while, because that's fun. And, yeah. So I don't really have a... As usual, I don't really have an end to what I'm trying to say here. Um, but thank you everybody so much. You know, we're 5,000 strong uh, here at the channel, and I greatly appreciate that. I hope, uh, you know, it, it seems like every time I post a video, I hemorrhage subscribers for a day or two and then it starts building back up. I don't really understand that. It makes me feel like there's some sort of bot or inactive channel thing going on. Um, so I don't think we're literally shedding... I don't think it's as much people are... Like, actual people are watching my next video and going, Oh, never mind, I'm out. I don't think it's that. But it could be. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you everybody for watching, um, I'm excited to hang out. I'm very excited to hang out. Um, so let me know what you guys think, where you guys are at, because that is a piece of the hanging out too. I gotta be better about, um, I gotta be better about being down in the comments. I read all the comments, I'm just not great at responding. I'm also not great at texting. I think my relationship with commenting or replying to comments is very similar to my relationship with uh, texting and email. Because I will, I will get a text, I will read it, and I will respond to it in my brain. I will, ha I will think of my response to that text. And then it's almost like if I don't actually respond right away, my brain is satisfied, my brain feels like, oh yeah, 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 like I, I thought of my response to that, and I forget to actually respond. So, I guess in, in that sense, I'm already being very genuine to myself in the, in the YouTube comments, because I, I really have a problem just keeping up on communicating with people, but I'll try to be better. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.